Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on this channel. I'm making this video because I recently changed my computer setup. For those who have seen my old videos know that I used to have a 13 inch MacBook Pro from 2015 and a 27 inch 5K iMac from 2015 as well. So I sold those computers and I bought the 16 inch MacBook Pro that you see behind me. And I am loving it by the way. But I also went in recently and purchased two Apple Thunderbolt displays to see how they ran on my 16 inch MacBook Pro. And by the way, I'm loving it, but I'm here to show you guys how it looks. And for those who are wondering if you can connect the Thunderbolt display with the 16 inch MacBook Pro, because I've seen a lot of people asking about it, like in different videos, but I haven't seen anyone really doing it. So. I decided to do a small video showing you guys that it is possible and how I did it and how it looks. All right, so this is how it looks right now. This is my two Thunderbolt displays and my 16 inch MacBook Pro. Now, the way I was able to do this was that I went here and I plugged uh, the Apple Thunderbolt 3 to Thunderbolt 2 adapter or dongle, however you want to call it. I plugged this on the MacBook just like that plug that with this Thunderbolt display and I got this one and plugged the Thunderbolt 2 cable it has on the first Thunderbolt display so that it's just what what they call daisy chain and that's about it you just turn on your MacBook Pro and both screens turn on automatically I set it up these two wallpapers I thought they look really cool I actually took it from MKBHD video he did and I really like it. I like the way it looks. The brightness is good. And even though it's an old display, it looks really good. Now you might notice here, this one I right cracked right here, which is unfortunate, but it's cool because I opened a claim on eBay for it because the guy wasn't really answering back. And he basically returned my money and then told me I could just keep the display because he was not willing to pay for the shipping for it. So I got a free display and what I did was I noticed that the only thing that broke as you can notice is the the glass panel the pan the the aluminum itself it's still really good intact not scratched or anything so I went in and I ordered another glass panel just like this one and as soon as it arrives I'll just install it remove this old one and I'll have two new Thunderbolt displays here so that's basically it that's all you have to do. Very simple, very fast, and it all runs perfect. The speakers will work very good. I really like how they sound. Of course, not as good as the MacBook Pro because of the upgrades they did, Apple did with the MacBook, but it's still really good. I would say it's like the iMac, and so I like it. And the one thing I will say is that the 16-inch MacBook Pro fans do turn on when you're using I don't know if it's because I'm using two Thunderbolt display or if it happens when you just use an external mono monitor in general. I looked it up and it seems it is a normal thing on the MacBook Pro, at least the 16 inch, that the fans do turn on even by doing simple tasks on an external um, display. So that's a little unfortunate, but that's all right. Usually when I work, I have my headphones on. So I don't know, maybe by using it on clamshell mode, It'll turn off. I'm not using it that way right now because I, uh, I'm i waiting for my keyboard. I order a Matias keyboard with a backlit. Yeah, I think it arrives today actually. And I'm also gonna use an NX, MX Master 3 mouse and a Steel, um, Steel Series mouse pad. So if you guys want, I can make a video on that when I get all those things together back, uh, all, all those things together. But for now, this is just about the displays. I hope you enjoy this video.